Okay, this video is going to go over using variables in our, our shell scripts and even maybe even talk about how we can use a variable in the regular shell just when we're, we're doing stuff to make our life a little bit easier. So uh, there's going to come a time when we're writing scripts where we need to temporarily store data. Uh, there's a bunch of different ways we'll do that. We'll get some user input we want to store. We can also run some commands and we want to store what, what gets uh, the output of those commands. But for now, we're just going to edit our vi. Uh, or edit our homework.sh script, and we're going to make it one simple change. Instead of, let me go get rid of all these comments I put in here that I don't need. Instead of echoing hello world directly, we're going to assign hello world to a variable. So uh, when we assign to a variable, we just use uh, the variable name. And when we reference a variable, we include the dollar sign. So in this case, I'm going to make up a variable name that I'm going to put a string in that says hello world. So some rules to having variables. One, uh, it must start with a number, not a number. It must start with a letter, uh, and you can't have any spaces or punctuation in it. So pretty much you can use letters, numbers, and underscores in your variable names. If you just try to use letters, numbers, and underscores, uh, you will be safe uh, in name choice. So uh, I'm, I'm going to create my variable. I'm going to call it hw string, and I'm going to set it equal to hello world. So basically I'm taking that string I printed out and now I'm putting it inside of a variable. So uh, in this case I created the variable, I stored a string in it, and now when I come down here I want to echo dollar hw string. Let's go run that, and it should be exactly as before. So hey, it looks exactly as before. So, so that's the very basics of variables. We want to create the variable of letters and numbers and underscores, right? Uh, we want to assign uh, the value to the variable. If we have spaces in there, we need to put uh, the, the string inside quotes. If there's no spaces, if there's no spaces, you can just put the words, I think, unless you have a special character. So we'll just have, we'll just try that and see what happens. It should work. So hey, there you go. That worked fine. Where you might run into problems is if you have a space in the middle of your assignment and you don't put it in quotes or double quotes. Yeah, so hey, whoa, that's weird. World command not found. So that's not a very helpful, helpful uh, error message to tell you that you need double quotes, but that's really what it means. So we'll put the double quotes back. A couple other things that are obvious to me might not be obvious to you. Um, if you assign a variable twice, right? If I take this string, this variable, and put something else in there, it's going to overwrite whatever was in the first one. So if you if you overwrite your variable with a new assignment, then it's not going to uh, have what you originally had in there. It's going to have the other stuff in there. So uh, that's, that's really the basics of uh, how to use a variable in your script. We'll be using variables continuously uh, within our scripts because it, if you have a script that does something useful, it, it almost always is going to have variables in it. Uh, one other usage of variables that might be helpful to you, um, I'm, I've, I've talked in our why scripting is because it helps us be lazy. The variable can also help us be lazy at the command line. So I'll show you an example of where I use variables a lot if I can find it. Oh, I'm root right now. I don't want to be root. Forgot who I was there for a minute. So I have this uh, sample command. Uh, I can't. Oh, that's right. I needed to be root for that sample command. So I have this uh, command I run sometimes if I can find it. There we go. I run this command to to check to see if you guys actually logged in using keys or not. So the way I normally do it is I run the command for a user. I get the results and then. I up arrow and I go all the way back over here and I change the username and I run it again but knowing what I know about variables now I can run the command like this I can use I can set a user variable right I can set it to the username I want and then I can reference that variable inside this command right so now I can say hey Grab, I want you to look for whatever's in the user variable. So now I'll run that, and now when I want to run it again, I shift the up arrow twice, 
go back over, change my uh, variable name, go back up to the command that references the variable, not my variable name, my variable value, go back up to the command that references the variable, and run it again. Go to the next user, you know, whatever that user is, run the command again. So, you know, you might be thinking, geez, Rich, that's next level laziest. You only, you, you, you used a variable to save yourself from having to go over 60 characters. Yes, you're right. I did use the variable to save myself going over 60 characters. And you can even do it faster. If you hit uh, Control A, that takes you to the beginning of the line. So then it's only like 10 characters I save myself. And I had to backspace and I have to type again. So yeah, you're right. I am pretty lazy. I uh, use a variable to save myself like, you know, 15 characters of, of mouse movement and typing. But, you know, if someday you work very hard to be a great Linux person, you too will be as, as uh, lazy and efficient as I am. So that goes over the basics of variables, uh, and we'll, we'll be working with variables pretty much continuously from this point on.